was a place with all the zip of new Coca-Cola. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Nuka World, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show us how to acquire a unique AK-47 known as the Problem Solver. We'll also run over how to use it and then I'll talk about why its existence destroys my soul. But anyway, when we first get through the gauntlet and make our way freely into Nuka World, we have to go and meet the three gang leaders. And the leader of the pack is called Mason, he can be found in the Brad Burton Amphitheatre. This is where the Raider Gang of the pack hangs out. Now I do suggest that you save your game before doing this, because if you mess it up it means you cannot get the problem solver at a later point. And sadly I'm sure many of you are already beyond the point of being able to get it. So anyway, when we're talking to Mason, towards the very end of our dialogue with him, a speech check will come up, do as you're told. And because Mason's Raider Gang of the pack kind of revolves around animalistic traits, by you saying this it's kind of like two alphas coming head to head. But then he decides that you and he have a lot in common, and because he appreciates your alphaness, he rewards you with the problem solver. Now if you fail that specific speech check, you will not be given the weapon. I also tried to pickpocket and I also killed Mason, and neither of the times was he carrying the problem solver on him. I also did all 12 incredibly menial tasks for him, at the end of which I was not rewarded with the problem solver either. So as far as I can tell, the only way to get it is to pass that one specific speech check when you first first speak to him. Apart from that, we have an unsolvable problem on our hands. How ironic. So as always, before modding out the weapon and checking out its base stats, I have reduced all my character's special attribute stats to 1. I also have no bubble head or magazine effects applied, however I do have perk effects applied because I need 5 out of 5 with a rifleman perk and 5 out of 5 with a commando perk to build the modifications that are going to go on this weapon. But don't worry, we can still figure out the base damage. So in the first slot, I'm going to be going with the powerful automatic receiver. This gives improved damage and rate of fire. Inferior range. Now you could pretty much go with any barrel you wanted, but I'm going to be going with a short covered improved barrel. This gives better recoil and better recoil control. I also just much prefer the aesthetic snugness of this barrel. Next I'm going with the light stock, and the light stock gives us exceptional recoil. Next I'm going with the quick eject drum mag. This gives exceptional ammunition capacity, which means an ammunition capacity of 75, and improves the reload speed. Now for this particular gun build, scopes can go fuck themselves. Let's make this as simple and clean as possible. We're going with the glow sights. This gives improved focus and better sighted accuracy. And finally, I'm going to be going with the muzzle brake. This gives exceptional recoil control, better per shot recoil, and inferior range. But hey, after all, we don't have a scope on it, so having a long range doesn't really matter that much. And finally, I'm going with the operator's colours. Any of these different colours are purely aesthetic. And personally, I think the operator's colours make this weapon look chic. Clean blacks, polished wood, and shiny metal. We end up with one hell of a smart looking gun. Well, after all, it is the problem solver. So once the problem solver has been modded out the way I just did, it has a ballistic damage of 94, but don't forget that's being doubled by the commando perk. So half of 94 is 47, which is the base damage of the weapon. So it has a base ballistic damage of 47. It uses the 7.62 rounds as ammunition. It has a fire rate of 113. Its range is 89. Its accuracy is 74. Its weight is 23 pounds and its value is 820 caps. And up the top, we can see there the problem Problem solver, plus 15% damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. No boy, what have you done Bethesda? What are you up to mate? In case it has clicked for anyone, this is exactly the same weapon as the splatter cannon. It's the same weapon with the same legendary prefix, which is literally breathtaking. I cannot believe they did that. Literally the only difference is the name of the weapon. Apart from that, it's the same base gun with the same effect. Think about how many base weapons there are and then how many legendary effects there are, times those together, and that's how many weapons slash legendary variations we can get. And out of about 10 unique weapons in this DLC, they managed to create the same weapon twice. How? I can't. 
<laughs> I seriously am stunned. Absolutely unbelievable, but you better believe it because it's here and it exists. So I suppose we should briefly run over how it should be used in game, even though I've literally said this exact same thing within the last 24 hours. So it is actually an amazing weapon and legendary effect combination. This is the relentless legendary effect and each consecutive hit on the same target increases the damage by 15% each time. So what you want is an automatic weapon that shoots really quickly with the large magazine size. Which weapon ticks all those boxes? Well, the problem solver does. And so does the splatter cannon. I must admit just holding down the fire trigger and just swaying from side to side, mowing down rooms of enemies, was really fun. So that is pretty much it. It's a really fun weapon, it's incredibly effective, and it's an excellent alternative if you don't have the caps to pay for splatter cannon. All you need to do is pass that specific speech check and you will get the problem solver for free. So the problem solver, evidently named after exactly what Bethesda did not do in regards to double checking the unique weapons in Nuka World. And if you are struggling with your homework, well, this is the gun for you. Try explaining to your teacher why a textbook is filled with bullet holes. And building off that, if you are having relationship problems, well, you know where this is going. Problem solved. And here it is, Splatter Cannon, I mean, uh, the problem solver in action. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my walkthrough guide for the unique not AK-47 names, the Problem Solver, in Fallout 4's Nuka World DLC. I do hope that it helped you out in some way. And if it did, I think you will be very interested in clicking on the playlist button on screen. This, of course, will take you directly to my Fallout 4 Guides playlist, where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description, where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 Guides that I upload. If you wish you could solve all your problems with this gun, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. The link can also be found in the description, or you can search Camel Works on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here with me, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there in a second.